Welcome back, Panther Springs friends. It's a party, but what kind of party is it? We don't know. Who are we celebrating? We don't know. It's our job to find out. Today in our church this Sunday, we are celebrating a group of people. Get excited, but we don't know who. So it's going to be our job to figure out who the party is for. So in my party bag, we have some letters. We're going to figure out what these letters represent and what these letters spell. So let's look in our bag. The first letter is the letter O. O is for orphans. The Bible tells us to care for the orphans. O. I don't think we have enough. Oh, we better look some more. Our next letter is the letter M. M is for the mother of Jesus, Mary. M is for Mary Magdalene, who was with the disciples. M is for Mary and Martha, the sisters of Lazarus. And I, I love that story of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. And now we have M and O. That means we need more letters. Let's look in our bag. Next we have an N. N is for Naomi. Naomi was a widow and she was cared for by her former daughter-in-law Ruth and it's such a good story. I love the verses in there. Where you go I will go and your people will be my people. N is for Naomi. So now we have M N O. Mm, nope, not enough letters. Let's keep on looking. We have the letter E. E is for Elizabeth, who was the mother of John the Baptist. And E is for Queen Esther, who God used to help save her people at just the right time in just the right way. Who knows that you were not put here for such a time as this. Now we have M-O-N-E. Still don't think we have enough. I think there's one more and that will help us figure out our mystery word for who we are celebrating today. Let's see. We have the letter W. W is for the widows. Again, the Bible tells us to care for the widows and the orphans. And I love some of the stories in the Old Testament about how God cared for the widows and also how the widow cared for Elijah when she trusted God that her oil and her flour would not run out until she had done what God told her to do. So let's see if we can put these letters in order now. We have O, E, W, N, M. Well, we Oedemon, that's what we're going to celebrate today. Woohoo! Happy Oedemon Day. I don't think that's it either, boys and girls. What do you think? What do you think these five letters could spell? It's a group of people. Remember, O was for the orphans. E was for Esther and Elizabeth. W was for the widows. N was for Naomi. M was for Mary, mother of Jesus, Mary Magdalene, Mary and Martha. Which of these letters do you think should be first? Hmm. How about we put the M first? Then we have Muno. Happy Muno Day.
Don't think that's it either, boys and girls. Let's see. How about we flip flop our M, which turns it into a W, and we have Wimno. Happy Wimno. I don't think that's it either, boys and girls, but I think we're on to something. I think we're getting close. What do you think I should do? What should come next? W. Oh. Okay. W O M N E. Want me? No, no, that's not it. I should switch to O. I think you're right. I think I will put the E and the N at the end. W O M E N. Woohoo! We figured it out. We are celebrating women today. Today is United Methodist Women Sunday. So go find a special woman in your life. Could be your mom, could be your grandma, could be your teacher, could be your coach. And tell them how special they are to you as we celebrate women. Thank you, boys and girls. Thank you for helping me spell the word. And have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.